Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about the American Bison to help you prepare for your trip to Yellowstone. So I have here a baseball that says Yellowstone National Park on it. The national parks make baseballs like this with images of the park on there. And I'm kind of a sucker because I love baseball and I love the national parks, so I have a little collection of these balls. On this one here it has an image of the American Bison is kind of an iconic image of the American West. Technically, the animals in America are bison and buffalo live in Asia, but we use the terms interchangeably. I'm not a word Nazi here, so you'll hear me use both. For some reason, I'm kind of a bison nerd. I've been to see many different buffalo herds around the West, like Custer State Park in South Dakota, Antelope Island in Utah. I've even been in the National Bison Range in Montana. And of course, Yellowstone National Park. In Yellowstone, there's about 5,000 buffalo. It is the oldest wild buffalo herd in the United States. It actually dates back to prehistoric times. Of course, for the Plains Indians, the buffalo was a source of their livelihood. Uh, often they would spook the buffalo and run them off these cliffs so they could kill a bunch of them at one time. You can find these buffalo jumps around throughout the West. Um, but basically the Indians would obviously use it for the meat and the clothing, but they use just about every part of the buffalo for one thing or another. Their livelihood really revolved around the buffalo and its rhythms. And so they, the, the Plains tribes were nomadic and they would just follow the buffalo herds around. The first Europeans to see the buffalo couldn't figure out if they were amazing, if they were silly, or if they were scary. Here's a quote from one of the early Europeans who saw the bison. No one could be so melancholy that if he were to see it a hundred times a day he could keep from laughing, or could fail to marvel at the sight of so ferocious an animal. So of course once the Americans, once the European Americans arrived out west, they had guns more efficient killing machines and by the time they got out here they started to have railroads and quickly the European Americans started shooting the buffalo loading them up on trains sending them to places like Chicago to the slaughterhouses and began a process of decimating the American bison population at one point the bison ranged from northern Canada all the way down to Florida by the 1880s, they had hunted this once great population down to about maybe 300 total bison throughout the entire North American continent. We call these guys the buffalo hunters. And one of the most famous buffalo hunters was a guy named Buffalo Bill Cody, who got his name because he had a contest with another guy to see who could shoot more buffalo in one day. He went out and shot about 4,000. He beat the other guy, so he got the right to the nickname Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill Cody's an interesting fellow because he ended up setting up a town right outside of Yellowstone National Park on the east side called Cody, Wyoming that you can visit today and you can see the Buffalo Bill Museum of the West there. Well, take a look at this image of this guy standing on top of this pile of buffalo skulls. Just uh, an, an amazing, vivid image of the Americans conquering the West. Really, this is what human beings have been trying to do through all of time, is conquer nature. The fact that these guys came out here and wiped out an entire population, and basically conquered the American West in about a period of 50 years was a remarkable achievement, and this, the way they felt about it was, hey, we finally did it, humans kind of conquered nature. And so this image was really kind of a source of pride at the time. We look at it today a little distasteful because you know here they hunted out this animal well it was kind of distasteful but this is the thing about America that it's got its bad spots and then it's got its good spots the thing that I think is amazing is that at a certain point they realize hey you know the goal isn't to conquer nature anymore the goal is to preserve nature we, we've done the conquering now we need to preserve it for future generations so fortunately they revived the buffalo and started setting aside land for national parks. You know, Yellowstone was created in 1872. This is right before the buffalo crisis happened in the 1880s. 
So slowly, they started protecting our great treasures of our country. Now, eventually they got the buffalo population rebounded a bit, and today there are about 200,000 buffalo throughout America. And you might think, well, that's, that's, that's a pretty good rebound, right? Well, at one point there were around 60 million buffalo roaming the North American continent. Now there's about 200,000. Again, at one point there was about 300, period. And if we want to put that 200,000 in comparison, this baseball again, let's just assume this baseball represents the 200,000 buffalo living in the country today. If we compare this to how many buffalo there used to be, if we put this side by side with an actual bison today, that still wouldn't do the comparison proper justice. You would actually need eight American bison today to represent the 60 million that used to live on the American continent, where this ball is now 200,000 American bison. So that kind of puts it in terms of how many bison once roamed the American continent as a whole, and now how few there are throughout the country. Now they're stable. You can even buy bison burgers around different places and they're tasty. And when you go to Yellowstone, you'll get in some buffalo traffic jams. <laughs> you might get a little annoyed with the buffalo. But the next time you see one of these laughable, amazing, frightening creatures, try to keep from getting a little annoyed by them and being in your way. And try to admire kind of the majesty of this amazing animal and all that it represents. It once represented livelihood for the American Indians. Its death and destruction really represented the end of the Indian way of life and the conquering of the American West by the European Americans. But its revival, its sustaining and its revival, really kind of represents some of the best in us that we are willing to go out of our way to preserve the treasures that we have in this country and to preserve a whole species, and to set aside land in the West for our enjoyment. In that regard, it shows America's virtue that we're willing to protect these special things. So when you go to Yellowstone, of all the animals you're guaranteed to see, the American bison is number one. Just take a moment to appreciate its long, amazing path 